Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to be talking about the entropy of an image, so how to compute the, the entropy of an image. Um, the concept of image entropy and of uh, the entropy of a signal in general uh, is uh, very old, it comes from uh, Shannon theory of communication uh, in from the uh, late 40s. Um, so the basic idea is to characterize the amount of information that's contained in a signal and the way to compute the entropy of a signal, and an image is just a 2D uh, signal, um, is to uh, sum over all the possible values that the signal can take, the, uh, the product of the probability of that particular value uh, being present in the signal, multiplied by the logarithm of that probability. And if we, we use the uh, base 2 logarithm for this computation, uh, then one easy way to interpret the, uh, the entropy is the number of pixels, uh, num sorry, the number of bits uh, per pixels in case of an image uh, that are necessary to uh, represent the, the, the information contained in the image. Um, but in general, it's, uh, it's a good way of characterizing um, the, the shape of the, uh, of the histogram of the image as depending on uh, the, the, the shape, if it's a flat shape, a flatter shape with uh, basically uh, a signal that is equidistributed between the different possible values, you will have a higher entropy and if you have a signal that is uh, with a more uh, clear peak, you will have a lower entropy. Um, so let's uh, compute that. Um, so to get this probability of a value, uh, we have to do what we have done in the previous uh, video, which is compute the normalized histogram. So let's quickly do that um, and compute the normalized histogram. I will create as a NumPy array the first the, uh, the simple histogram as we've done in few videos now. So the uh, sum for each possible value of a pixel of the number of pixels in the image that have that value uh, as an array and to normalize it I simply have to divide it by the sum. So to make it easier I can just call that uh, variable uh, p. Okay, so this is the probability of uh, a pixel taking a particular value. And so you compute the entropy. I will just have to compute. So I will start by the middle here. Um, so this will be p uh, multiplied by, I have a method log and log2 to have the logarithm in base2 uh, of p. And if I take all of that, I can compute the sum. So this will be done uh, element by element. So it will be this will do for every val possible value of uh, from from zero to two hundred fifty-five, p of zero multiplied by log p of zero, p of one multiplied by p of, um, log p of one, etc. And then I sum on all of that. So I'm doing this uh, this operation, and then I just have to add the minus sign, and this will give me the entropy. So to, to have a look at uh, what that does, what I've done here is just created two um, uh, fake uh, images. So two example images, one which only contains uh, one value. So every pixel in this image has the value 255. So I initialize an NumPy array with uh, ones everywhere, multiply by 255 and then cast it to uh, unsigned 8-bit integers. And then for B, I created a completely random uh, signal. Uh, so completely random value between zero and one, uh, one not being included. Um, I multiply it by 256. So I will have something between zero and 255.9999999, etc. And I cast it as inside integer eight bits. And so uh, this will uh, put everything between zero and 255. So I have here a random signal and here a uniform signal and if I try to compute uh, the entropy of both of them and then I put it as the title of the, um, of the, of the image and I can see here I have a not a number. So what's uh, happening 
it's uh, simply that for most value here of uh, of g, so for most of the possible values that a pixel can take, I have actually zero pixels that have that value, and so I've tried to compute uh, the logarithm of zero, which is a problem. And the thing is, here I'm supposed to be um, to be only using the um, p of g when p of g is uh, um, is not equal to zero because if uh, there is no pixel with that value, it means that it's not a possible value that the signal can take uh, for this uh, com computation. So what I have to do is just use the uh, masking that we've seen in the b uh, before in, in NumPy to only limit this computation to um, the uh, values of p that are above zero. So when I do that, I am only selecting um, the uh, the items in P where P is superior to zero, so yeah, this will be the Boolean uh, mask. I'm doing that in both uh, terms of the multiplication, and so I will only limit the computation to um, here where where P of G is uh, superior to to zero. So this time I don't have uh, an error, and uh, what I can see is that. For a uh, uniform signal, I have a entropy of zero. So this corresponds to a signal where, um, where in the histogram, I only have one single uh, peak where all the values are there. And indeed, that means it basically contains no information. Uh, I just have one, uh, one value. Um, and um, if I have a completely random uh, signal, uh, then I have will have a value that is uh, very close to the eight, uh, the eight bits that it's uh, that the signal is uh, is encoded with, um, and so anything between those two values, uh, any image uh, coded uh, encoded as an eight bit unsigned integer should have a value that is between zero and eight, and I can quickly check that uh, by taking again our walking the JPEG uh, image, where I can uh, so uh, read the image display it and uh, compute and display the entropy and I will have a value that is around 7.4 uh, so it's uh, more a more organized signal that it's not so truly uh, truly random but it's still um, uh, very far from just being one uh, single uh, peak um, and something that's interesting to keep in mind is that the entropy is computed only on the um, histogram, which means that uh, it does not matter the spatial organization of the pixels for computing the, uh, the image entropy. Uh, it only matters the distribution of the histogram, which means that if I uh, completely shuffle the values of the, uh, of the pixels, so uh, here this is what uh, I'm doing, so here just um, copying first the, uh, the image array and uh, flattening it because the uh, shuffle method requires just a, a vector. Uh, so I'm transforming the, the image into one single vector. Then I'm using the shuffle method from NumPy to mix everything uh, completely, uh, all the values randomly. Um, and then I'm reshaping uh, this to the uh, original uh, image shape. And what I get is a signal that looks uh, kind of uh, random as well, but it's uh, only uh, all the values that are there are values that are from this, uh, this original image. It's the same pixels, but in a different uh, order, in a completely random order. And the entropy of this signal will be exactly uh, the, the, the same. Um, so this uh, kind of thing has an impact on the uh, ability that we have to um, to to do uh, image uh, to do compression uh, signal compression um, so in theory an image that will have a lower entropy uh, we should be able to compress it uh, further than an image that has an higher entropy of course when it comes to image we have trick that we can use to to uh, allow us to um, to compress images um, based also on uh, our knowledge of its spatial distribution of the pixels, and uh, that don't just take into account the uh, the histogram, but uh, from a purely um, signal processing uh, point of view, uh, this is kind of the base point uh, of uh, of computing the information contained in a, in a in a signal. So that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.